sports. It's in the game. Sports. It's in the game. Here we are, Alan Smith and myself, Martin Tyler, in the Wanda Metropolitano Stadium for our featured game today. Welcome to you. Today, Atletico Madrid against Sevilla. Atletico Madrid and the facts and figures tell you that it is the best home record in the league this season so hard to break down this team and so potent up front of late the Atletico Madrid lineup starting in goal Jan Oblak Diego Godin is alongside Jose Maria Jimenez in the heart of defence, Antoine Griezmann plays together with Morata. This is the Sevilla lineup for this game. Looking at the lineup, he's got all the Opponents in place, hasn't he? The manager for the pressing style of play has been a feature of his team. Yeah, and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with. If your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down, you're going to lose it in dangerous areas. We're coming to terms with the new home, the fans of Atletico Madrid here in the Wanda. Metropolitano. Yeah, the fans have had to change their match day routines, haven't they? It's a little out of town compared to the original, but uh, filling it. So they get more. to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams intent upon tasting glory. 
Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. It is Juventus versus Barcelona. Well, hundreds of millions of people will be tuning into this one. Probably the biggest club game in the world. Pointed end of the tournament. Who's going to come out on top? Well, Derek, we're just about to find out. Very, very excited. Not exactly a surprise to see Barcelona in a Champions League final. After all, they've won this competition four times since 2006 league. For me, Barcelona, the ethos, the way they play the game, the academy, La Masia, the history, the players they've had playing for them, they're just, for me, the best all-round club in the world. And this is how Juventus will line up. Wojciech Szczesny between the posts. Blaise Matuidi plays with Miralem Pjanic in the centre of the park. And leading the line today is Mario Mandzukic. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc-Andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Sergio Roberto plays with Jordi Alba in the wide defensive positions. Ivan Rakitic plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And the defenders had better be on their toes because leading the line is Luis Suarez. Griezmann. Is Saul working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Good position for the cross. The shot's on. And the goalkeeper with a textbook save and keeps the ball in his grasp. Ben Yedda. Here's Munir. Escudero. Eva Banega. They've got numbers in this attack and it looks dangerous. Has a go here. Ben Yedda. And it is. The opening goal of this match. Oh, the fans are loving that one. Well, they all count the same, but he won't ever get an easier one. No, I don't think so. But uh, he was there, right place, right time. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. The opposition. Matuidi. And plenty. Running towards goal. One man to beat. And the penalty has been given here. Well, the verdict is a penalty kick. And how important is this moment with the game level? Well, with a chance to go into the lead from 12 yards of the goalkeeper to beat, I'll take that any day. from the spot we'll see it again here Derek looks easy doesn't it I can tell you it isn't I'm telling you now a bit more analysis as regards the goal
that's it. The dust is settling now, Alan, and beaten, beaten by this team as well. Yeah, they uh, probably weren't at the best, well, they certainly weren't at the best today, and they'll be feeling disappointed to, to lose out to their rivals in this manner. It's another very good home performance from Atletico Madrid. They are very hard to break down here, to even challenge to get a point from. And they've chalked up another home victory. Well, they have turned this place into a fortress, and uh, although it wasn't comprehensive, I didn't think the result ever looked in doubt. His old lady has passed the final test. Juventus are the winners of the UEFA Champions League. Well, you have to say, fully deserved as well. All those months of toil, the training sessions, etc., the sacrifice, the commitment, the desire, the hunger, the luck as well, but the application to put all that into a package and then win this brilliant trophy. They do set very high standards for themselves, these Juventus players, but this is something they will remember forever. What a feeling of pride must give you to be able to say you're part of the team that's the best in Europe League. Well, you know, these players get paid fortunes, bank accounts are full of money, but it doesn't matter, it's about memories. When you finish your career, you look back at these moments. How many trophies have I won? How many times have I celebrated on a podium with this famous trophy? The buoyant Bianconeri, Juventus, left the Champions League trophy. Brilliant moment, especially for the captain. He gets his hands on the trophy first. Well, they certainly intend to savour this. Juventus, and they ought to. Doesn't come along every night of the week. The cup with the big ears, as it's affectionately known. And this is the moment there, it's sharing it with the supporters. You get a chance to take it a little bit closer to those stands. Let them enjoy the experience with you. And the families are up there in the stands as well. A brilliant occasion. It took fire as well as ice on the pitch. Necessary qualities. Now the chance for a photograph. My mum always told me to get on the front row. She taught you well, Lee. There we have it. The Champions League victors for 2019. And they get the ball. They've got numbers. It has a go here. Benyeda, and it is the opening goal of this match. Oh, the fans are loving that one. Find some space here on the flanks. Shots on here. Well, sometimes he looks awkward, Alvaro Morata, but he's pretty awkward for the opposition too. Another goal to his tally. Atlet he might be through. It's all action from Atletico now. Morata! Oh, what a goal! What a time to get it for Atletico! I think we've just seen the match winner. And they get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about to find out who will be... And the penalty has been given here. Well, the verdict is a penalty kick, and how important is this moment? And in it goes, as coolly as you like, never in any doubt from the spot. Matuidi. with Dybala just found wanting in terms of the finish then
Emre Can now. Dybala. And the shot decidedly lacking accuracy. Well, he had other options as well, but he chose to shoot. And what a magical save it was! the final two minutes of this contest and he did well to get around to the ball yeah I'll give him six out of ten for that save nothing more nothing less